All right, here's my MOA Scotch bonnet. Yeah, it's pretty, going to be a pretty big plant. It's maybe two and a half feet now. Um, it's a really interesting plant because I'm seeing a wide variety of pod shapes, like, um, like this guy. And I've got some that are more typical, or starting to get a more of a typical bonnet shape. Like that. And then some are kind of elongated, but bumpy. But then I've got these guys, which look nothing like the rest, except for maybe that first one. But they're kind of smooth skin. And got these really wicked tails. But I think it's a true plant. It's just, I think some plants um, throw out odd shaped pods earlier on and they straighten out the season progresses. But I'm going to do a taste test on this guy. The flavor should be consistent with, with the others and the heat. So. so anyway, we'll crack this open, see what it looks like. Hi, it's Peter Stanley. Got another pod test. Uh, this is the, um, it's kind of an odd shaped MOA Scotch bonnet. Um, the, uh, this type is developed by the Jamaican Ministry of Agriculture, which is what MOA stands for. The seeds um, are from a good source, um, from Cardi. So they, they sell seed. I don't know if they are right now, but I know they some sell bulk quantities of seeds. And uh, Juanita's Peppers bought a large quantity, and he sold small packs out of that. And then this came from one of those. So, um, and But the, the shape isn't, you know, what you, it's not the ideal shape especially for MOA scotch bonnet they usually um, have kind of they're shorter for one thing have um, four lobes and then kind of a four round things kind of inside um, it's hard to describe the um, pink star recently did a pod test on one and he and his he shows a perfect example of what they're supposed to look like so I'm going to put a link to his video um, in my description, so you can you can see what they're really supposed to supposed to look like. But uh, um, anyway, the, the heat and taste or heat and flavor should still be accurate. Um, I did try one off of this plant. It was smaller than this, and it was one of the um, kind of bumpier texture pods, and didn't have the tail. But um, it it was pretty hot. It was a lot hotter than an arrow or than normal scotch bonnet. Um, but it was it was pretty hot so it, um, this one being a larger pod especially the whole thing it's it's you know probably gonna be a lot of heat uh, so I haven't decided if I'm gonna eat the whole thing or just a, a piece of it I decide after I cut it open I'm also gonna weigh it it's a really heavy pod um, I wrote my my gram scale so I want to cut it before I cut it open I want to get the weight on it too all right so uh, let's get a, go ahead and cut this open and we'll take a look okay let's see what this guy weighs Stem off. Nineteen point eight two grams. That's a pretty good size pod. Okay, it's um cut this up. Pretty uh, thick wall. I can smell it without even lifting it up. It doesn't have a lot of seed. Um, a lot of placental tissue at the top. It's kind of hollowed out. But yeah, the typical shape. Um, not really as long this way and this part I was trying to think of earlier but it's kind of like a little button that's in the middle but um, I'll put a link to Keg's video he shows a good one on there um, let's see what it smells like <clears throat> yeah it's a really strong um, chinense kind of fruity smell and it smells pretty strong it's, it's a good it's not a bad odor all right, I think I'm going to at least attempt this whole pod, uh, but I'm going to do it in, um, I'm going to eat half 
half of it first and the other half. But I'm going to eat the lower half, then have all the seeds. And um, if I feel like I can do the rest, I'll eat the rest. Alright, so here goes. some on my lips <clears throat> so we wipe that off and that's going up my nose a little bit my fumes yeah it's really crunchy uh, <clears throat> very fruity kind of sweet um, it's one of those that kind of sprayed in your mouth when you start to chew it so it's kind of, kind of going up inside my nose a little <clears throat> I didn't get the like super hot part of it but this is pretty hot um, it's really burning my lips where the juice got on there <clears throat> kind of burning my tongue underneath a little bit it's a really clean flavor um, <clears throat> I didn't really get a lot of bitterness it all just kind of fruity tangy a little sweet um, not excessively sweet. <clears throat> Real juicy, crunchy. Heat's still building. Um, <clears throat> I really shouldn't have got it on my lips, but I'm only just trying to chomp down on that. You know, I kind of couldn't avoid it. But if I had just done the whole thing, it wouldn't have it, but it'd been harder to swallow. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and finish it. Yeah, that piece was <clears throat> had a bit more bitter so I think it was the seeds. <clears throat> kind of it had everything else with it too that the first piece had. Yeah, this is gonna have a lot more heat. <clears throat> Water doesn't help this stuff, but it's kinda of like the little pieces out. Center the general, um, same overall mouth burn has a little bit of a nasty aftertaste. The first piece didn't, I don't think it's the seeds, could be the placenta too. But, um, yeah, it's got it's still building, heat's still building on it. I'd say it's as hot as that, um, West Indies Red I just did a review on, maybe a tiny bit hotter. Throat. Yeah, it's got a nice burn. That aftertaste is kind of going away now. Um, I think if you're going to make a powder with this, it'd be excellent. You probably want to. Try to get as many seeds out as you can before before you ground it, or before you draw it. Either way, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna try to make a powder with mine. Maybe a, a sauce too, like a fruit based sauce. The flavor of the uh, fruity tanginess probably go well with the fruit based sauce, like a pineapple or mango or something. They're too hot for fresh eating, I think. The heat's actually still building a little bit. It's pretty good heat. It's real clean. Um, it's 
starting to get a little bit of chill bumps. Not many, but I mean, it's kind of getting that sensation. Usually get what stuff's kind of hot. But. And it's not anything like <clears throat> super hot, but um, it's definitely got a really good, <coughs> good amount of heat. Um, yeah, the paint's still in the same place. Um, it's all <coughs> still a bit on my lips, um, tongue, kind of around tongue, um, right from my mouth a little bit. Not hitting my throat at all. I know this is why I don't have a paper towel handy, but, um, yeah, it's, it's really good. Um, I'm interested to see how the pods transform as the season goes. I'll, I'll post, um, I, I do pretty regular garden updates, so I'll, I'll show how, how they're looking as, you know, as it grows. Um, so you can kind of take a look. And, uh, I'm going to wrap that up, but, um, I hope you like that, and, um, uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel and um, I'm still trying to uh, stay on top of my goal of um, trying to do some kind of test on every type that I'm growing this year still have a lot left to do so a lot that haven't turned ripe yet so I'm trying to kind of stay on top of it as, as I get new ones that are ripe I have one more that I picked today but I'm probably going to save it for tomorrow Anyway, uh, thanks again for watching.